good afternoon, good morning to everyone. And we appreciate you taking a little bit of time uh, with us here to learn more about our Starship solution and kind of uh, learning more about the advantages of using a multi-carrier solution like Starship. Um, first, before we go there, I just do want to thank everybody uh, for being a very loyal customer to us with our Ship Gear product. Um, some of you may join previous webinars that we've put on. Others may be first time, so welcome. Um, and yeah, again, we just want to thank you for that loyalty over all these past 20 years of being with us on the Ship Gear product, but that is being sunset at the end of this year. Um, so we are kind of running up against time here. Uh, and hopefully you'll find this webinar to be informative and in what Starship can do for you. So I'm gonna go through a brief presentation, talk a little bit about some of the features, um, talk about the different carriers we support um, and things you can get out of Starship that you may not get through ship gear today. Uh, and then I'll take you through a very quick demonstration. Today's demonstration is gonna focus um, more around our kind of a, an LTL process flow, uh, but very similar to parcel, right? So if you're just doing parcel, it's okay. Uh, but just want to give you some uh, different um, viewpoints of what Starship can do if you are shipping any pallets, uh, either prepaid or collect, um, that's, you know, again, ship gear can't handle today for you. So uh, with that being said, we'll go through this, and I'll be happy to answer any questions here at the end for everybody. So just a little bit of um, background, right? So um, obviously, many of you know we've been around since 1987, um, so we're definitely not new to the game here. Um, Starship but um, is a flagship product, right? Meaning that it's been around the longest, much longer than ship gear has actually been. Um, Starship came out around 1989. Um, we've been with Intuit and the QuickBooks space now for 20 plus years, um, really from since 2002, uh, where we offer a plug and play interface. Uh, so again, there's no customization needed here. It's integrated seamlessly like ship gear is today, um, bringing all your tracking and freight costs back in. Um, we are a QuickBooks solutions provider, so some of you may be, um, you know, looking at adding licensing needs or maybe looking to switch off of QuickBooks Enterprise um, to maybe QBO, which again is not probably, you know, recommended, but if you are, um, it is something we can offer some uh, dis discounted pricing for you on, um, as well uh, as your Starship licensing. Um, here, uh, we were uh, recognized by UPS um, as a per, uh, premier partner, um, so which was really uh, given to one of, uh, it was really five of us across the country that got this award. So we're very thankful from UPS for recognizing us and our accomplishments, our partnership, um, connecting with their APIs um, and being, you know, uh, always kind of um, leading the edge as far as uh, advancements and kind of making sure we're always up to date with their um, different features and um, uh, uh, integration points that they're asking us to be integrated with clearly. So um, so definitely is very uh, uh, appreciative and we're definitely happy to be a partner with them. <clears throat> so just a couple points here I wanna touch on, right? Some advantages that you're gonna see from a Starship perspective. Um, so obviously Starship can do both your parcel shipping. So everything with UPS, FedEx, post office, speedy, um, you name them right, you know, all the parcel carriers are supported with Starship. Um, and then along with LTL shipping, right? And that's a big one because a lot of platforms focus around the parcel shipping needs. Um, Starship takes it one step further and integrates with about two dozen different LTL providers today. Um, so we can allow you to rate shop, print your bill of lading, which you're going to see here today um, in one click of a button, essentially, right? So which is kind of neat. Um, again, how we do that, we leverage line item detail, uh, meaning that we're, you know, like ship gears is pulling header level detail. Starship's going to pull all the line items specific to that order coming in to its platform. <clears throat> that information will store all of your NMFC codes, class, everything we need for the bill of lading, essentially, to print properly. Um, and we do that the first time we save the information in our database and it's never touched again. Um, so it's kind of very uh, a streamlined approach essentially for you. Um, we also can do the same for international shipping. So if you're doing anything with international, we store the same type of information needed for all your commercial documents um, to ship uh, via export, um, as well as any hazmat shippers on the call today. Um, we can store information for hazmat profiles so we can properly print those documents needed for anything hazardous going out the door as well. 
Um, we offer drop shipping, right? So a lot of you may be drop shipping for other customers. We can help you uh, set up labels to disguise the ship from location. Um, the name may be on the label or the bill of lading. So again, if you're doing any sort of drop shipping, we can definitely support that with our application. Same along with consolidating orders. So some of you may be having multiple orders to the same customer. Um, you wanna consolidate that into one shipment. That is another feature Starship will offer to you um, to kind of streamline the process there for you as well. And then writing back that information to all the individual orders. Um, so you have a record of that as well. And then uh, last but not least, really the live rate shop, right? So having the ability of seeing all of your carriers in one place, um, quick and easy. You don't have to go to multiple portals to get a rate quote for one shipment. Um, having everything there to make the best decision for that particular shipment um, is definitely uh, advantageous for you as well, which I'll show. And then we also have some metrics, which I'll talk about here in a minute as well with our dashboard and different reports that we offer through that. So what do we do in the QuickBooks space, right? From an integration perspective, right? We're updating you know, your common information, tracking the shipped on date, shipped via codes can be written back, um, number of packages, we have a whole array of information we can send back to QuickBooks. It's really what you wanna see and what's important to you as a user. Um, everything is in real time, so you don't have to wait around for an hour or 10 minutes or five minutes. It's in real time that we're gonna update QuickBooks for you, um, along with the freight cost can be written back if you want that as an option as well. We can definitely send that back into QuickBooks. And then the one thing here that's unique um, is writing, uh, marking the order as processed. Um, and I have this in quotation marks because uh, it, it requires a custom field in QuickBooks um, on your side um, called Starship Ship Status. That's the field that we update with this word process. It's a kind of a check and balance um, for you to make sure that the order has been shipped, but it's also a way for us to filter out orders from the queue so a shipper doesn't by accident duplicate that order again. Um, so it's definitely something that's been used many, many times. Uh, and a lot of users seem to like that being able to filter out the, the shipments that have already been processed for you for that given day. Why are we even talking about cloud, right? Why do we want to go uh, to Starship? Why do we want to run up in the cloud? Um, and a lot of uh, the industry as a whole, right, is all moving into that direction as we all maybe know. Um, Starship is along for the ride, right? And we're going to the cloud because obviously it offers some benefits to you right, uh, as well as a user. Uh, some of those here, Starship's always running on the latest version. We don't need to uh, get outside IT involved. We don't need to worry about manual upgrades, extra costs associated for those. So it's kind of really removing those extra costs um, from being done. Um, also access to unlimited users as well as carriers, right? So we don't have a user uh, cost any longer um, and also no carrier costs, right? It's all built into this the subscription for the uh, application itself. <laughs> Seasonality, a lot of you might be seasonal shippers um, here today. Um, we can manage that with different tiered pricing. So we don't have to charge you with flat fee across the board. You can have that control of what pricing tier you wanna be on at any given point. Um, so that's also gonna help maybe save some money for you as well. And then restricting user access, right? This is a big one, uh, especially for administrators, right? Giving that access to the right people that need it. Um, and then others who may not need certain access, taking that away. Um, so we don't have people changing plans or um, things without permission. You have full control of what people can do in the application based on role um, as well. This is just a quick um, example of the carrier list that we support in Starship today. Um, so again, as I mentioned, we have about two dozen different carrier applications, but between parcel and LTL, <clears throat> there's some Canadian ones in here, a couple three PLs as well that we support. Um, so again, if any of these apply in your world, please let, you know, Jason, myself, anybody who's reaching out to you, let them know. We're happy to talk to you about that integration. Um, if we don't have a carrier on the list, we do have opportunity to still help you. Um, we can talk to you about those methods as well if, that, if that's applicable to you in your world. This is just a quick snapshot um, of our dashboard, and I can go into this a little bit more in the demo. Right. But again, this is just giving you kind of an example of various charts that we can provide to you. We have a whole report database that goes into things like late deliveries, address corrections, um, parcel and freight detail reports, international reports, et cetera. 
Um, also, we can provide a distribution map or some people like to call it a heat map um, where we show your distribution points across the country. Um, and where you see like all this red is kind of where you're heavy in. But if you have spots where you're not shipping product to, that's also going to be clearly stated here where you can maybe get together with the teams internally and figure out why you're not shipping to a certain spot. Um, but also maybe help with negotiations with your carriers. Expansion um, is also this where this you know, report could be used or I should say map could be used um, to have those you know, educated discussions with uh, your individual carrier reps as well. So um, one thing here, you know, um, as I mentioned earlier, we're running sort of out of time with ship gear um, and we still have over 650 customers still running the application today. Um, so we have quite a bit of, uh, you know, work to still go um, and we only have a few months left before this product is no longer supported. Um, so as many of you know, we are no longer putting any bug fixes in for the product. No further enhancements are being done to the product. So we're really playing with some fire at this point because if something were to go awry, um, there is no one to fix those issues at this point in time, right? The, all the resources are on our Starship platform. Um, so we're really sort of you know, playing on the edge at this point. Um, so it's best to get onto the product as soon as possible with Starship if you're thinking about that. Um, we are currently experiencing a nine week backlog, right, in projects. So. Uh, that's just to have a kickoff call with our implementation specialist. Um, that's expected to go beyond 12 weeks here by the end of the summer. Um, as more and more customers continue to commit and come onto the platform, each and every day we get more and more customers committing to us. Um, so again, that backlog is expected to grow and we're working through those projects as quickly as we can. So the later we make a decision to move forward, there's a chance that you may not get implemented by the end of the year um, if we wait any longer. So. Again, just want to create that sense of urgency that um, we can't just expect to get this up and running in a week or two uh, from the time that you decide to make that decision. Um, there is a backlog currently and that's expected to grow throughout the end of the year. Um, you are paying for higher prices currently, as many of you may know with Shipgear for really limited integration uh, and really no additional enhancements. Um, some of you may see the pricing for Starship and see that in some cases it may be less than what you're paying today with Shipgear. Um, so that's uh, also opportunity to save some money. Um, some may see it to be some more, but again, you're going to get more uh, enhancements, more many more features with the product than you are getting today. And then also for many of you using UPS today, you're probably already aware this is not new news, um, but there is a potential UPS strike looming in two weeks, right? Um, and a lot of the customers have been calling about adding you know other carriers onto their license. Um, again, we want to make sure we're prepared, but we can't expedite anything at this point in time, right? But we want to make you aware that by using a multi-carrier solution like Starship, this gives you the opportunity of having multiple carriers other than just a UPS on your license like Shipgear today. So um, just be mindful of that as well. Okay. So um, again, I'm going to go through a very quick demonstration, very high level. If we want to schedule more of a private demo to kind of review your workflow, what's important to you, we're happy to do that individually. Um, but again, when you log into Starship, as I mentioned, it is a cloud-based application. So you will have a dedicated URL to your company to log into every day. Um, this is your home screen. This will be your queue of orders that are ready for the specific gate filter you set up here, um, but all your orders will display here. Just like Shipgear today, we have this little import key function that you can type in your sales order number, invoice number, whatever you're using, um, hit enter and it will load for you automatically. Or you can use a little truck icon off to the right as well. Um, once you use a truck icon, this will load your order automatically. Uh, again, I should make note that we do not use WorldShip or Ship Manager or any carrier applications when we're using Starship. Those applications will go away completely when you make the, the transition to Starship. Um, we are connected directly to the APIs. We use your carrier accounts. Uh, we don't use anything our, on our own, right? The only carrier we're gonna give you discounts for is for the post office. Um, other than that, we require you to have your own rates, your own account numbers with individual carriers. Um, so you can see what those rates look like for your, yourself. Um, as the order loads here, everything's on one page in front of me. Again, I have this going RNL via one of my LTL providers uh, coming in from QuickBooks. 
So we just work essentially from top to bottom. We have our sender information, which is defaulted to you. We have our recipient information, which is mapped in from QuickBooks. We do an address validation. Uh, that's what the green checkbox is representing here, showing you, hey, the address, the zip code, even a secondary validation of being a residential shipment is all correct. Um, so this is gonna add a residential surcharge to your order down below as well. Um, and then in here, from an LTL perspective, um, we do you know options of prepaid or third party. Um, so if you're doing third party billing, we can support that. And we have different workflows that we can talk to you about how we support third party billing. So just keep that in mind. Um, but also one thing that's different than the personal world is we offer tendering with LTL providers. Um, so we do things like electronic, a daily pickup or a call. Electronic is just simply an electronic communication via an API to the carrier to tell them how many pallets, what time it's ready, what time you close, um, the, the dimensions and the weights of those pallets. That's all essentially what you're doing. You're not having to call anybody. Um, you can set the ready date up here of when that shipment's ready, where your ready time and your close time. The bill lading number is auto-generated by Starship, or you can generate one on your own. Uh, the pro number will be generated via the API from the carrier. So as I ship this, the API is gonna be auto-returned um, to us, so we can put that back in QuickBooks for you immediately. We don't need to wait around for the driver to come and you know, put a label on the pallets or anything. This will automatically be done for you as well. Um, in the middle section, you have all your different accessorials pertaining to that carrier. So this menu will change based on the uh, carrier you've selected. Um, so if any of these were applicable, you can check any one of these boxes. We can also set up various conditions to auto select these for you. Uh, so therefore you can say, hey, I have a customer that needs liftgate all the time. No problem, we can set that by customer level. So this would be flagged as a liftgate customer and you don't have to worry about missing that checkbox, right? And causing all sorts of delays on delivery. So again, if that's important to you, we can you know, work, work with you on that as well. Um, and then also down here, you're gonna see that my shipment is just showing up you know, all together, right? So I have all my line items that were on the order. I have two different commodities. I've basically put them in the various boxes, right? So you can see I have two boxes here. I have a third box here below and all three boxes are essentially being packed onto a pallet. Um, and that's what this diagram is showing you. Just like World Ship or Ship Manager today, we have a whole packaging database. We can store your different dimensions for pallets. We can also store your different dimensions for uh, boxes as well. So you have that here for you, but we can help uh, set those up ahead of time. So your users can easily pick whatever box or pallet they wanna uh, put the shipment onto. Um, and then over here um, is where we store your various information at the item level. So these are all mappings in from QuickBooks, but more importantly, uh, because this is LTL, we have things like group numbers or NMFC numbers that can be stored at the item level, as I mentioned earlier, along with any class uh, associated. So again, we can put all that information onto the bill of lading for you as well. And then down here is your rating, right? So in the right corner, we're gonna show you all of your rates for RNL. Um, broken down, right, line by line, coming up to a negotiated rate of yours. And then the applied rates are freight rules. So you can set these up by customer. Um, you know, if you have, say, free shipping or 10% markup, whatever that might be, that can be by customer or you can have one across the board. Um, this is the number we send back to QuickBooks, right? So that's what you're gonna invoice your customer. Hopefully the carrier is gonna invoice you only for $399. So maybe you've made, you know, say $40 on this particular shipment. Uh, that's, you know, up to you how you want to control that as well. Um, if you're not happy with the RNL rates, the main thing, the main feature of Starship, a rate shop feature, right? This, you can click the button here. You can also set up a rule um, to auto rate for you if you wanted to do that. Uh, but again, you can click the button within a few seconds, you're going to see all of your rates return to you that are set up um, on your license. And then we can sort those lowest to highest and have you make that selection of who you want to use for this particular shipment. I should mention, um, if it was a parcel deemed shipment as well, meaning if it qualified to be a UPS or FedEx shipment, it would show up in this list. If not, it auto removes itself, right? You can see it's not showing up here. So here's all my various carriers that I could use uh, for this particular shipment. And you're gonna see RNLs way down here in the kind of the bottom half and CH Robinson through my Freight View app is coming out on top, 
right? And that's being sorted on my contracted rates. So I can make that determination how I want to ship it now by selecting one of these boxes. Okay, and then once you make that decision, it's the ship and process. And once I ship and process, this is when my bill of lading gets created and then all the write back back into QuickBooks as well. So here you're going to see my bill of lading with RNL print. You'll see the pro number, as I mentioned, is returned automatically and put onto the bill of lading for you. This is also now sent back into QuickBooks. We have all our ship from, the ship to, how many pallets, the commodity descriptions, any NMFC number listed, class, weight, your signature goes at the bottom. And then if I take you back into QuickBooks, there's that order I just processed. Again, I'm putting some basic information back in here, but I'm showing you what that pro number was, the bill of lading number, the carrier, how many pallets and boxes, the total weight, and then there's my applied rates as well written back into QuickBooks for you. And then there's that field I was mentioning as well, written back word processed. Um, so you now know that, hey, this order has been shipped, it's ready to go, and you can let your customer know that it's it's been processed and when you expect delivery by. Um, so with that um, being said, um, I'm gonna just quickly just show you um, our dashboard that you also have access to um, as part of the subscription here. So um, the dashboard is going to give you a whole array of information, right? So we have all of these various charts, right? We also have various maps as well as I, you saw earlier. Um, but again, you can set up any of these charts however you want from total costs, total package volumes and the trends. You can always click into any one of these and change different date ranges and see different trends very quickly. Um, so you have a bird's eye view on things. Um, if you want to add a map, you can do that right um, here as well. You can click on that, add a map into your dashboard. However you want to use the, the dashboard is really up to you from a preference standpoint. You have all of these various reports as well out of the box. So things like I said, address correction, late deliveries, freight detail, parcel detail, it's all here for your viewing pleasure. These can be downloadable in PDF or Excel, so you can have them for a meeting. Uh, whatever you want to do is up to you on those as well, so you don't have to contact your carrier reps uh, in that regard. And then last but not least, we also have our e-notify templates that you can set up for partial and LTL, so you can make these look and feel however you want, right? So if you click onto any one of these, right, you can get a guide, but this is just going out UPS, right? But you can pretty much put anything you want on these templates to let your customer know what's coming to them. So in this case, I can put, you know, PO number, I can put a sales order number, I can put logos like you've seen here with the items being shipped to them. These are hyperlinked, so they can go right out to the UPS website and track their own order. They don't need to call you. Uh, maybe a marketing tool for maybe a coupon code is also um, available to them as well. I'd just like to thank everybody, you know, for joining and listening here for the last 30 minutes or so. Um, but if we can be of any assistance, we're happy to do so. And uh, we look forward to having you guys all use Starship here soon. So thanks again, and we'll talk to you soon.